aboard GMS. I'm Allie. And I'm Colby. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of January 18th. Students, remember wear your mask. You need to have your nose and mouth covered all times. This includes when talking to your friends. Thanks for your understanding and cooperation. A reminder to GMS students, if you're getting picked up after school, please form two lanes as we did before the hybrid schedule. This will help so much with traffic. The high school boys soccer coach will be at GMS on Tuesday, January 19th during Pride class. He will talk with the boys who are interested in soccer and as well as to discuss off-season opportunities. It's not too late to join the wrestling team. Any student interested can talk to Coach Welch to get details. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The price will be going up, so lock in these savings now. Until further notice, attendance to all athletic events has been limited to two people per athlete. Thank you for your cooperation. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants and must be standard length garments. Therefore, sh shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length and longer, with, with or without garments underneath. Jeans must not have any rip, kind of rips, holes, or tears above the fingertip. Thanks for your understanding. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to GMS News Show, the interview of the week. I'm Chloe here with sixth grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Vaughn. How are you doing today? I'm great, Chloe. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Uh, would you like to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Mrs. Vaughn. I teach sixth grade reading and language arts. Um, I went to Center Grove schools. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, I went to Center Grove and um, graduated, went to IU in Bloomington, graduated from there. I'm married to, shockingly enough, Mr. Vaughn. And um, uh, we have one son, Rory. He's 16, going on 17. And a dog named Jersey, who is like the craziest, laziest, sweetest dog ever. Aww. Do you want to see a picture of her? Uh, sure. Yeah. Hold on a second. That's her. Aww. I know. I love her so much. I show off a lot with mm -hmm. my dog. I actually have three cats. <gasps> I love, I used to have cats. Aren't cats the best? I know. They're so they're, nice. They're so unique. They're so different than any other pet. Um, why did you choose to be a language arts teacher? Well, um, kind of an interesting story. I wasn't planning on being a language arts teacher. I taught um, for 17 years at Isom Elementary. I taught all subjects and language arts was actually the one that was not my strongest subject. But a friend told me that a position opened here and I thought, well, this is my chance to hone my skills and to become a good language arts teacher. So um, I grabbed it like five years ago and haven't looked back. Uh, what is your opinion on pineapple and pizza? Chloe, I'm gonna be honest with you on this. I think that's disgusting. Really? I don't know why anybody would put pineapple on pizza, but whatever. I mean, whatever floats your boat. Like. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Yeah, I do. Really? Do, let me ask you this. Do you add Pam to that pizza? Because a lot of people like that combo. I mean, sometimes I do, but sometimes I just like it plain. Interesting. Yeah, not for me. I'm sorry. Got to pass. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite Disney movie? Um, My favorite... Disney movie from my childhood is Swiss Family Robinson um, about this family living in the wilderness. I loved, loved, loved that movie growing up. Watched it all the time. Um, but like the newer generation of Disney movies, I'd have to say Finding Nemo is my favorite. Um, 
I saw that the, for the first time with my sister in the movie theater and we laughed out loud so many times. It was awesome. And I just love that movie. I think it has a good message. Mm-hmm. What's uh, yours? Uh, I would probably have to say Captain Marvel. Nice. Yes. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you, you like a have- superhero movie? I mean, my sister watches a lot of them, but like, I like, you know, other movies too. Good. Keep a broad, a really mm-hmm. wide spectrum of movies. Don't like block off anything. That's my, that's my suggestion to you. Uh, would you rather live in the country or the city? Oh, easy country. Easy. I would, I would live in the country in two seconds if I could. Um, I kind of live there now, but I would rather live farther out and have a farm and like live off the grid and have animals and like, you know, just be on my own and have my own food. And I would love that. I think that would be just so fantastic. All righty. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Vaughn. Have a great week. Chloe, you were did amazing. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Thank you so much for having me. You too. Hello and welcome to Top Trending, where we discuss the trending topics of the week. I'm Claire Train. Number three, the new South Wales premier, Miss Virginkelin, has called for a change to the lyrics of the national anthem to better acknowledge Australia's proud indigenous history. On the eve of round two, the NRL state of Oregon and the premier threw her support behind a push to change the anthem, so it declared... So, so are one and free instead of we are young and free. Ms. Brjinkelin said that she believed that the change would make such a difference and called for a national discussion on the topic. I love our national anthem. I get, I get goosebumps every time I hear it slung or played. But think one word will make, will make such a difference, Ms. Brjinkelin said. Number two, is it a veggie burger really a burger? Burgers, veggie burgers can be called a burger. The European Parliament said, says the Parliament came together to vote on whether a veggie burger is a burger. Farmer Lavis argued that it isn't. Environmentals say yes, and so did the Parliament. This discussion made the policy to not refer to plant-based meats as their meat. Contact parts such as sausage, steak, or a burger. Camille Perrin, the senior, the senior food policy office, officer at the European Consumer Organization, said, "Consumers are in a way confused by soy, by soy, soy steak or chick, chickpea-based sausage, so long as it is clearly labeled as a vegetarian or vegan." She said in the statement, "Have you ever had a veggie burger?" Number one, a woman taking a walk through a, li- a wildlife refuge in New York City ended up taking a six one for a 23 mile journey on foot by car and on a subway. Area Corova Ro- Rojos stated stated she rode her bike to Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge in Queens, New York, where she went for a walk to do some bird watching. Corda Rojos quickly noted noticed that the swan she spotted sitting by itself near the shore was acting strangely. Usually swans are very territorial, but as she got closer to the swan, she knew that something was wrong. So she ended up using her jacket to pick up the swan and carry a 70 pound bird about a mile back in where she had parked her bicycle. Corva Rojas ended up riding the subway with the swan on her seat next to her. Wildlife found officials said that the swan appears to be suffering from lead poisoning, likely from swallowing the weight from a fishing line. The bird is undergoing treatment and will likely be released in a few weeks. Officials stated, that's all for Top Trending. Have a great week. Hi, welcome to Sports, and I'm Moses. On Tuesday, January 19th, 6th grade boys basketball away at Indian Creek Middle School at 5.30 p.m. 7th grade boys basketball mid-state round one away at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade boys basketball mid-state round one away at 6.45 p.m. On Wednesday, January 20th, January 20th, 7th and 8th grade boys basketball away at mid-state round two if necessary at 5.30 p.m. 7th and 8th grade girls basketball away at Perry Meridian at 5.30 p.m. Middle school boys wrestling home versus John Woodman at 5.30 p.m. 
On Thursday, January 21st, 7th grade girls basketball away at Beach Grove Middle School at 5.30 p.m. 7th and 8th grade boys basketball away at Mid-State Finals if necessary, starting at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball away at five at Beach Grove at 6.15 p.m. That's all for sports. Have a great week.